Oh, why, yes. I am the handsome leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy. <clears throat> uh, Gamora! I was only looking. Relax. I'm not gonna kill you. This time. Okay, good. I, uh, actually... never got a chance to say thank you. For the doll. Oh. <laughs> no problem. I know how you like this kind of stuff. It was very thoughtful. I can count on one hand the number of times someone has given me a present without expecting something in return. Wow. Um, Christmas gifts from Thanos must have really sucked. That's putting it lightly. Thanos wasn't the giving type. Everything was a mind game designed to control us. Gifts included. So thank yous aren't exactly my strong suit. Something Mantis says I need to work on. What kind of gifts did Thanos give you? Weapons, poison, the metal wire thing you used to strangle people with? He gave us dolls. Once. Stupid, ugly things from Xandar. Wow, okay. That's... surprisingly girly. What? I can't be feminine? No, just... I was really sure it was gonna be a knife or something. Like I said, Thanos liked mind games. It was unusual for him to be... kind. We didn't even have a bedroom, yet here were these dolls. Purposeless. And they were ours. Do you still have it? Like, is it in your collection? No. I lost the one Thanos gave me when I was six. She was the ugliest doll I'd ever seen. I cried so hard when I lost her. <sighs> Nebula hurt me. She loved her doll, and I knew she wanted another one. So when she came in to check, we started to fight. Bet Thanos loved that. He found us fighting, saw my tears, and... laughed. Turns out, the dolls were a lesson on the importance of not getting attached. To help us understand that, he took Nebula's doll and threw it into the incinerator. That's... I can't imagine. Nebula didn't understand why he did it. Only that I was somehow responsible. I started collecting these a few years ago. After Nebula. After I knew I'd never see her again. It's dumb, but I guess I'd do it for her. How do you know Mantis? Did she give you one of her weirdo fortunes or something? Not exactly. How do you know her? Uh, I maybe tried to pick her up in a bar once. And how'd that work out? Good. Until she did the creepy antenna thing. I was half expecting her to start chanting, Red Rom, Red Rom. Red what? Doesn't matter. Point is, she's a wacko for sure. A really... hot wacko. Who happens to be your friend? Yeah, well... that wacko saved my life. A few years ago. Someone got the jump on me. An assassin. Nearly killed me. Mantis happened to be in the right place at the right time. Seems to have a knack for that. <laughs> Yeah. Turns out I had no idea how badly I need someone like her in my life. Up until then, I'd been so... lonely. After the war, the Resistance disbanded. Richard Ryder got busy with politics, and the world mine had no use for someone like me. An assassin? Something like that. Thanos trained me to be a weapon, not a peacekeeper. Once a weapon, always a weapon, you know? Is that why Mantis mentioned suicidal urges? Because I get it. I've, I've been there. 
I'm pretty sure we've all been there at some point. Let's just say I'm not in that place anymore. Because of Mantis. She showed me another way. A place where maybe I can be needed. Wow. Um, I'm glad I bought this for you. And I can promise that there are zero strings attached to anything I give you. You're an important part of this team, Gamora. Uh, thanks, Peter. Uh, truly.